Well, there was one person not among the massive crowds here at Queen's Park today, and it was the Environment Minister, Jeff Urich. The Environment Minister's office told me he had a full day of meetings in his riding. It raised the eyebrows of some of the young people in the crowd. His office said he had a full day of meetings. What do you think about that? I think that's kind of, as they would say, an odd coincidence. You don't, you don't think he really had a full day of meetings? You don't think he wanted to be here? I think Probably he's not. scared. Jeff York also Each didn't attend the UN Climate Change Summit in New York last week. I caught up with the Environment Minister two days ago to ask him why. I didn't feel like uh, uh, there was uh, a time for me to be down there, to fly down there. You know, we, uh, we saved our cl climate footprint by not attending. He could have taken the train down uh, or he could have driven an electric vehicle down. It's not that far of a drive to New York. The bottom line is, is these young leaders they want action. They want a livable future. He says we're doing, we're reading the Paris climate change uh, targets. We're do, we're, we're taking action. He says. Actually, the Ford government is wasting our tax dollars sabotaging climate solutions instead of investing in climate solutions. What do we want? Climate justice. The environment minister was also asked on Wednesday what he thinks about Greta Thunberg. The government should commend any young person stepping up and and speaking to uh, with their beliefs and their truths. Do you agree with her, minister? Well, I believe that all governments have a responsibility to, uh, you know, deal with the climate uh, change issues that are going on. But the Green Party leader says what Greta thinks is not a belief. It's a fact. I mean, what Greta Thunberg is saying is, is listen to the science, follow the science, act on the science. The environment minister did put out a written statement. It reads, quote, today I would like to recognize all the young Ontarians who are making their voices heard on the serious issue of climate change. I think people here uh, would love to see their minister of environment and their premier here to explain to them why they're not serious about climate change. What's the one biggest thing a Green Party government would do that we're not seeing this government do to tackle climate change? What's the one big thing, Mike? Invest in public transit and electrify our entire transportation. They're going to say we're building subways. We're going to build a subway. <laughs> you know what? They're ripping up subway plans. We need to electrify our entire transportation system. We want to make sure the plan is equitable. Uh, so low income folks, indigenous folks, uh, racialized people need to be part of our plan. Uh, we want to make sure it's, a, it's an affordable plan. It's an affordable transition uh, so that people can, you know, you know, afford to, uh, to participate. Premier Ford's government does have a climate change plan. A big part of it is a fund that uses public money to entice companies to lower emissions. It has yet, though, to be approved by the federal government, so one would imagine could very much come down to what happens in next month's federal election. Now, Queens Park, Richard Southern, City News.